for the high. Round, walk, walk, dummy, go fully around. Cause it's breakfast with Bob. Thank you, Poncho Man. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob, day one from Kona and Huggles on the Rocks. My name is Bob Babber, brought to you by Master Spas. As fuels go longer, Hoka lets fly, Deborah Wetsuits, Form Smart Swim Goggles, Zoot Sports, the original triathlon brand, Quintana Roo, Premium Plus Sports, and of course, our Challenge Athletes Foundation, our next guest from New Zealand, Rebecca Clark. How are you doing, Rebecca? Hi, Bob. Yeah, great to be here. Um, yeah, can't be, you know, it's always going to be good when you've got the... Hawaiian uh, sun and the ocean beside you. How long you been in town? Uh, just over a week. And you've been en enjoying the just being able to spend some time on the island before it gets too crazy? Yeah, it was good just to have a little bit of extra time to get used to the conditions um, and check out the course when it wasn't too busy. Yes, it's been very nice. So this year, uh, you eighth at Ironman Germany and uh, then anytime somebody jumps into the PTO events, you know you're racing with all these really fast people. What did you gain from that experience racing at the PTO European Open? Yeah, you learn so much uh, racing with the best in the world. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of uh, pressure and you know the racing's gonna be fast, but I think when you go, when you take, like I went and play, raced the Sunshine Coast, um, which I won, and I could you know, have a lot more control in that race. Um, in those races, you have to be so reactive and you know you can't really, you just have to go with the race and, um, you know, just go for it and not really worry too much um, about your power in those, like, shorter races. Right. Um, but, yeah, there's, you learn so much each race that you can take on board and, um, you know, it's, uh, when you come to a world championships, there's always, like, a lot of pressure, but, you know, I've been in that situation. I've, I've stepped up and raced these girls before and, um, you know, you know we're kind of, oh, I can swim with this person or I know I can bike with this person or maybe it's wise not to bike with that person, <laughs> <laughs> especially for the Ironman distance. What did you gain from last year when you got 17th here? Yeah, just a lot of, um, again, yeah, experience of the conditions here. Um, you know, you really have to make sure you're kind of taking care of yourself during the race um, with nutrition and hydration because I think if you take, you know, if you make little mistakes, they get even more accentuated here. Um, I know that there was about 20% of the field ended up, you know, DNFing last year. So you're always conscious. I think last year my first goal was just to finish. Yeah, right. Because I didn't want to come here. Um, you know, you only have so many opportunities to race here as a professional. And I didn't want to come and have a DNF next to my name. So <laughs> it was more about like, you know, do everything to ensure you get to that finish line and and then see where that kind of ends ends you up. Um, I came in with no expectations. I was like, if I come, wherever I come, um, just do you know the best best I can. And so the race went pretty smoothly. Um, I learned a lot. I I got a penalty, so like something to work on for this year is obviously not to get the penalty. Um, I, I was happy with my swim. Um, a little bit. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with my run. So, yeah, something to build on and kind of aim to be better than from last year. So growing up, what were your sports? Uh, mainly swimming, um, but I did, I did a little bit of everything. Uh, some team sports like netball, uh, water polo, um, and then I dabbled a little bit in doing some cycling. Um, but, yeah, swimming was always the main focus. Did a lot of swimming, like, yeah. up nine times a week. It didn't really leave much room for oh other sports God. at one point. So I chose swimming as my main sport from about, yeah, 13, 14 years of age. And you get to a certain point in swimming where it's like, okay, what do I do next? Uh, do I, do, is, is the Olympics the goal? And if it's not, looking at a black line isn't the most enjoyable thing after all those years. Yeah, th there was times where, yeah, maybe I didn't so enjoy it. I took a little break from it. Um, but yeah, decided 18 years old, I was ready for like, university and not having to yeah, yeah. always stare at, a, stare at a black line and um, have a bit more of a social life and um, things but I um, yeah I always kind of I've always had a love of water so I was like I was always not gonna like completely stop swimming so um, but I'm kind of looking back on it like instead of going down that swimming route like I love, I love with triathlon is that I can explore even more like I can go to these places and you're biking um, 
you know you're not just staring at a black line, so you get to you know, swim in the ocean, uh, swim in lakes, or ride up around mountains. So yeah, yeah. I've really loved what, the triathlon. What got, you in, what got you into triathlon? Uh, just for the challenge of it, really, to start. Just wanted to kind of tick off. Um, I think as a lot of people, just finish like an Olympic distance was the first goal. Um, did that with my dad, um, really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then it just kind of snowballed from there really onto um, qualifying for like the world champs as an age grouper and then turning into pro um, and then moving on through the long distance and then do like, I'll do one Ironman. I just do it And it becomes once. 10 Ironmans. <laughs> How many have you done now? I think this is number 10. So wow. that's quite cool. <laughs> and what do you look at as the, the, the your best Ironman, the best performance you had. It doesn't necessarily have to be a win. Yeah, I think the best one I've had is Ironman Australia last year, mm. uh, where I placed second to Sarah Crowley. And um, we know that, yeah, she's podium twice here on the Couple island. Times, yeah. And so to be up and racing, and we were separated by a minute at the end, um, and it was my best run and just, yeah, complete performance that qualified me for Kona. So it's also special because... Yeah, qualified for my first Kona from that. Um, and it was also, I think I was a point where I'm like, do I continue with this? Um, and of course I had to continue because I'd qualified for Kona, but <laughs> I thought, no, I can, yeah, I can step up and I can be against uh, world-class athletes. So, yeah. Uh, so you did uh, th some of the, my favorite events. So Ironman Australia, then you go to Challenge Roth and got fifth at Roth. What was that experience like for you? Because that's pretty a special place. Yeah, Challenge Roth, um, yeah. So some people here have probably uh, done it, and it's, I think it's a bucket list for a lot of people. Um, uh, yeah, the atmosphere up Solarberg Hill and um, just all around the Everywhere. course. Yeah. There's not really a place on the course where it's, like, that quiet. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, so even I didn't have, like, my best day on the run, but I remember I was having people just, yeah, shout at me the whole way, and so, yeah, it was great. What would you be happy with here? Mm, I don't really have – I don't want to be happy with, like, I've got to be like this place and I'm right. going to, you know, I think I'll be happy if I execute a great, great you know, simple swim, bike, run, um, but make kind of, yeah, good decisions and just like do my best in each of those. Um, and yeah, just know that when I cross that finish line, I've given them my all. Um, there's like, this is the finale kind of for the season, for the year. Um, I get to go home after a long time away. So I remember last year I was telling myself, you can have a holiday. <laughs> when I was running down the Queen K, just keep pushing. So, um, you know, you can just kind of leave it all out there. Um, and if I've done that and I've, yeah, just know that I've given it all, then yes. I'll be happy. How have you changed as an athlete in the last couple of years? Um, I think, well, I've, I've improved. Um, <laughs> I've improved across, like, yes. I think, my three disciplines. Um, I think I've grown a bit more in confidence. Um, kind of just feel I've had, you know, more support with like sponsors and things and that kind of, yeah, just helps to have that team support around you. Um, yeah, and I think, I mean, you're better. I'm, I'm a, yeah, I'm a bit um, the same, same person, but I think, yeah, I'm just a... Just a faster a, version fa of yourself. Yeah, fast athlete. <laughs> <laughs> How about a round of applause for Rebecca Clark, everybody. Poncho Man, Thank take you. us out. Macho Man, everyone.